Yo guys, what is going on? My name is Eclipse and today we're going to be going over the top 5 things that all Clash Royale players love. I do understand the last top 5 I uploaded was the top 5 things we all love, but that video was just a big joke and it was pretty much me mocking everything I hate about Clash Royale. So I figured instead of me just saying everything I hate about the game like usual, I think I should mix it up and be a bit more sincere because I really do love Clash Royale. So I figured I would just explain the five things that I really like the most. Also, please do keep in mind, this is my top five, and I was a pretty big Clash of Clans player, and I'm assuming most of you are, so a lot of the things that appeal to me in this game appeal to me because they offer features that Clash of Clans really didn't have. Getting right on into the number 5 spot, this is going to be that there is no excessive wait time and as I said I am coming from Clash of Clans and in Clash of Clans you would like 14 day upgrades just to upgrade your town hall. Like who the hell wants to wait 2 weeks for one single upgrade? And I do understand in Clash Royale we have chests but chests really aren't that big of a deal if you think about it. If you guys have school or work, if you go to bed, let's say you get 8 hours of sleep that's one goal. Golden chest if you go throughout your school or work day that's like another eight hours then of course you have all that free time to build up chests and of course to wait to unlock more chests and I really don't think chests are that big of a deal and besides that there is really no wait time in Clash Royale and this is kind of going to move on into our number four spot and this is going to be that you can play when you want to again this is me coming from Clash of Clans and if you didn't play for a few days in that game you basically became a dead man and people can attack you, take your loot, take your trophies, etc. But in Clash Royale, if you don't want to play for a few days, it's really not a big deal. Everything is one-on-one, -on -one, so people can attack you unless you attack them. And honestly, I just like how we have a bit more freedom in this game, and that's definitely a feature I love. Moving on over to the number 3 spot, this is going to be the joy of free chest. For the most part, Clash Royale is pay to win, I'm not gonna lie. If you're trophy pushing, if you want to be the best, you're gonna have to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars just to be good, and that's that's how it is unfortunately. But still, even if you don't want to buy super magical chest, magical chest, or giant chest, you can still get them for free, and it's not like those are strictly available for you to pay for. I really do like how even if you don't want to spend money, even if you just like want to play the game to play the game, you can still get the best of the best chest and it's not like you like only have to pay to get them. On top of all that, you also have free chests. Free chests don't have the best items, but still it's a free chest. They give it to you just for logging on to collect them. Also in this upcoming update, you will be able to get super magical chests more frequently from battling. So they're just giving us even more chests for free and I really like how Supercell isn't going complete money whore and money hungry on us and they're actually giving us a chance to get these items. Moving on over to the number 2 spot, this is going to be battling clanmates because battling clanmates has to be probably one of the best features in the game without a doubt. And honestly, if you're really bored, if you don't want to risk your trophies and battle real people, you can just battle clanmates and have fun. Most of the time, I'm so scared to raid because I'm at my trophy record right now and if I lose one battle then I'm just going to lose a whole bunch of trophies. So if I want to play Clash Royale and if I don't want to jeopardize my trophy record I can just go battle clan mates and have some fun also let's say I'm getting bored or let's say I make a new deck I can test my decks on clan mates see what works what doesn't work I can have them use strategies on me so I can learn how to counter things and overall it's just a great approach to get better and let's say you're fed up with clash royale and you really don't know what to do with your life because you feel like you just can't do a single thing you can just have fun battles see how many skeletons you can spawn see how many barbarians you can you can spawn and honestly there's just an endless amount of possibilities you can do with friendly battles and that is the reason that they are taking the number two spot and the reason I love the number one spot is going to be because it's actually competitive. Now I know I made quite a bit of Clash of Clans references and I know Clash Royale and Clash of Clans are both completely different, but I played COC for about three years and the only thing ever competitive about that game was Clan Wars. Then as you all know, Clan Wars got infested with modders and they patched mods and everything's just kind of going downhill in that game, but basically I was never really into wars and was really never 
ever even competitive for me. Now in Clash Royale, as I previously said, I am scared to battle because it's so competitive. There's pretty much something new every battle and you really don't know what's going to happen. You have to learn how to outplay your enemies, you have to learn you have to learn what your enemy is going to do, and I actually like how for once, I actually have to be strategical and think about something. And again, another Clash of Clans reference, don't, you know, give me a whole bunch of comments saying, Oh my god, the two games are so different! I know they are, but I just played Clash of Clans for so long, that's the only thing I can really relate this to that all of you guys will understand. In Clash of Clans, if you just want to farm, farming really doesn't take any skill at all, and I basically did that for like 30 years, and then coming into Clash Royale, well, I've had this game for a couple months and it's already more competitive than anything I've ever done in previous games And I really like that factor because I feel like it makes me a better player and it adds just a nice aspect to the game and that concludes with today's top 5. If you thought anything I said in this video was good or clever, please give the video a like below. And of course, if you thought everything I said was completely stupid and useless, you can feel free to give the video a dislike below. As usual, in the comments, let me know what you think should have been on this countdown, or if you think this countdown was perfect as it is. So guys, this has been Eclipse again. I hope you all enjoyed today's top 5, and... Peace out.